Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Total War Shogun 2 with the Iku Iki, the Warrior Monks Unit's only challenge run where last time left off things were looking a little bit grim after the well rather easy time we'd had for a while. We've now been declared war on Bartakeda, who immediately struck at Kaga and at Suruga. Uh, we were waiting here for a couple units to get recruited um, and also this building to finish up which gives us a better garrison so I think our plan was to Try and sabotage this army, make sure they just stay there for a little bit. We got a pretty decent chance of doing it. Um, and if they stay there, then next turn we'll besiege them. Next turn will be autumn. Okay, so it will be winter to turn after, but if they sally out right away, it's okay. Um, and over here, we need to sabotage this army one more time as well. One more time. Uh, so we can get our army there. I'm going to move this one regardless, though. We'll have a, yeah, That army is totally going to be fine, because this army is absolute trash. Terror. Let's do this one first. I'm less worried about this. Okay, we got that one done. I am more worried about this one, so I really hope we can do this one too. Come on, do it! Because if they start... Nice. If they start running rampant this way, we would be in a world of trouble. In a world of hurt. Um, and this also, this fight in general is going to be tougher. They've, got actu they've actually got better troops here. But Oh well! Um, we also tried to make this place rebel. Well, we did. Uh, unfortunately, the army wasn't quite strong enough. Would have been really nice because we would have gotten a whole bunch of cav out of it and all that, but uh, didn't quite make it. The army in here is a bit wounded, but not wounded enough. Honestly, might be worth even trying to uh, assassinate them one at a, one at a time. <clears throat> You're not very good at assassinating, unfortunately. You were going to do this again. Oh my god, is that twice in a row now on a 70% chance? I mean, I know that Odds of that aren't that bad, realistically, but uh, I were 15 bucks short of doing it with you. Whatever, right, we just took this as well, obviously. So let's uh, repair that and build ourselves a Jodo Shunta Temple. You might want to go in there to make sure this place doesn't rebel immediately. I'm assuming it wasn't... No, it wasn't actually going to rebel yet or anything, so that's okay. This place is getting more echo, so the chance of success is going to be smaller every single time, but... Um, the actual army that will spawn will be much bigger. Do you want to get some free experience? I guess so. Why not, right? Uh, how about you? Is that chance decent? Yeah, it's good enough. Uh, too bad. Alright, so this place is going to be currently... It's... Um, four... Three... Two... Three. So it'd be minus three, so an exemption would already be enough. So that's okay. Uh, this is my level three ninja. I have three ninjas here. That might be a bit overkill. Why am I doing that? Let's get him back here. I'm actually thinking that this might not be a bad idea, trying to assassinate him one at a time. So our you know what? Just go into Omi. Our chance of killing that dude will be higher. There were a bunch of Metsuke there, right? That was a bit scary. I'm also going to get this ninja this way. Uh, and I, I have five ninjas, right? I assume so. I really need to get another one over. So I've got one, two, three... Four, five. I really ought to get another one over this way, because this is... Yeah, we need ninjas, honestly. Uh, I could try in the moral now, the chance is too slim, too small. Maybe even use you as a spy. You know what, I'll use you as a spy this way. I need to know what's going on, because I know there's an army around there. Yeah, there it is. Almost tempted to just go kill it, but it's not really a good idea. But knowing what they've got at least means that I know whether I can protect this place with just the garrison, and I think I could. Could even leave the extra general behind if I wanted to, which I don't. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Um, okay, I think that's about all I can do of uh, in regards to all of that shit. You're gonna stay here because I don't trust the Hatano. This guy's level one, but if I fail, then the chance to, that they declare war on me is even larger. It's already quite large, I'd imagine, having my army be over here. So that's uh, definitely a worry. They've got two full stacks there. I don't know what's in there. Eh. Eh. Not the greatest, but they do have some experience across the board there. Atano are not particularly friendly with me. We're just unfriendly there. We're not, like, hateful of each other. Say what, you what if I gave you my son? Wait, my why can't I? Tells me not to listen with hope. Uh, oh, no, I can do it. Sorry. I'll give you both. I'll give you my heir. Might be able to come to an agreement. What if I were to join your... Oh, he's not at war of anyone either. Oh, God. That's even worse. <laughs> oh, God. I gave him some military access. No. 20 turns. Indefinite. Okay, that would do it. The thing is, he'd probably betray me immediately afterwards. Can I give you my other son? Yeah, he would do that too. 
I have a little bit of money. I'd really prefer not giving you indefinite access. Oh, that works as actually 20 turns. What about 10? Okay, that, that, well at least that money got me from indefinite to, to 20, that's good. Um, now you don't have to break your alliance. You'd stop trading, no. Um, see, I'm really, I'm really worried here, because I could do this. It's not actually that bad. The problem would lie in the fact that he could just betray me the next turn. He's only got four towns, by the way. What the fuck? He's just got two armies right next to me. That's the scary part. He's not a war of anyone. That's the other scary part. Like, if I <laughs> if I don't become allies of him, I'm going become I'm becoming enemies with him. You know. Let's see if I can pay less money than the two hundred and forty-eight. Yeah, I can. Wait, why don't I just take money away? Wait, what? He just he said no to 20 turns before. What? Derp? Actually, let's not change anything. Let's just do that then. Don't have to give him any money. In fact, will you give me money? Yes. Um Okay, not not much though. Fifty bucks, sure. We are already trading? Yeah we are. Well that's something at least. At least that makes it slightly less likely they'll declare war on me as well. Unfortunately I haven't got any marriages that we can do, otherwise that'd be a great way to make him happy for a little while. Alright, I guess 20 turns of military access that I'll have to do, and a hostage. But I've given him my other, my younger son, so that's good. Uh, yep, let's do that. Let's become friends for a little while. We are now very friendly. Okay, well let's just keep it that way, shall we? No trade with you. And no trade with you. Hojo is still an enemy. It's okay, no, definitely not going to peace out. Not that I want to. I'm, I need my towns back first. Quint as far as something. Give me back my towns. Okay. Next turn is uh, battle time, I think. Or at least sieging out time and then see if they come and attack me. No, don't do that. Oh god, there's more. Oh boy. That army is trash though, so I think we'll still be okay actually. And we've got our archers in there. But less infantry, which is something to keep in mind as well. Alright, they didn't betray me just yet, that's good. The, key, the longer you stay there, the longer it'll take for me to be able to get an army in there. Okay, Kawachi is an Api. It's gonna stay on Api. That's fine, I knew that. Okay, we got more units in here. And we also recruited another archer there, so this army has got gotten quite a bit better. Ah, oh, god, okay, that's... This army is trash, I was hoping they'd send more trash over, but they certainly haven't. This is actually pretty strong. I still beat them ranged-wise, though. We have, what, six units now? Yeah, six archers. Pretty good. I could even sabotage this army again. Make sure we take them on one at a time. That's not a bad idea. What's your chance of sabotage? Is it bigger and the same? It's the same. Alright, well, why don't you do it first? Eh, uh, no, why don't you do it? Because then I can move this guy further on. Alright, so I can take him on one at a time. I'll still have to siege him out, but that's okay. Uh, and I need to sabotage them too, otherwise they'll just back away. Okay, otherwise they would just run past the army and lost the town, and that would be pretty shit. Okay, we can upgrade that, but we haven't got the money. No, we've lost our iron, of course. Damn it. How dare you? Okay, so now you need to keep an eye on what whatever is in here. It's not that large. Yes, what she said. Uh, can we? Yeah, we can definitely reach that. Let's get the, the ninja out of the way a little bit further because that might be blocking it a bit. Um, okay, so what have we got here? Just got a whole bunch of infantry. Some with charge bonus. Fantastic. And a cav. This army is not bad by any means, but I think we'll still be okay. Especially if they attack me and I can hide in a forest or something. It's actually not even that bad. Like, as is when I attack them, but I will siege them out. Only three turns, so that's good. Uh, that one will fight in a minute, that'll be a fun battle. Something we don't have to worry about too much. Uh, this is gonna get converted pretty rapidly, let's get you in there. Maybe I can actually unexempt it. That, we're gonna get plus one next turn, that's gonna go away, that's gonna go up, so it'll still be zero, but then we get plus one, so it'll be plus one. Can you do this now, please? Actually, you know what, at this point I might as well just convert it further, right? Get a better army, actually perhaps get some good units in here. Let's convert it faster and just unexempt this, or exempt this place again. 
Did I have a level up available for someone? What was I looking at? I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you keep converting this place and it's gonna be like... Yeah. It's actually going pretty slow now, but... Um, getting 8.0, but it's only going up by like 2.8%, but it, it goes slower the further you get on, but still. Ah, uh, Takiyama Ninja, you've made quite the track, haven't you? My goodness, you're gonna go over here. I was gonna try and assassinate all the generals, but let's just assume our army is gonna be large enough. So you have one ninja there, two ninjas here, one ninja on the way here, and then one ninja here. So that is actually better than what it was before. Um, I have a little bit of money left over. What can I spend it on? That's the real question. Something useful. Something that makes me more money, perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, this is completely unupgraded. That would make me money, but it took a very long time to make it happen. Um, yeah, I'm not too worried about a farm. I think, honestly, I'd probably be better off just recruiting more units. So this army only has seven in seven infantry. So yeah, let's just get more. Oh, recruit doesn't cargo though. Damn it. Um, because this one's got quite a bit of, bit of infantry. Just needs archers really. Three, six, nine, ten, uh, eleven. So yeah, let's get one more. Fuck it. That's fine. Make it an even ten. Uh, twelve even. <laughs> And even 12 even. Okay, let's do a battle, shall we? I think we shall. Wait. Oh, never mind. I thought I had like a minus thing in that place where I'm just recruiting now, but I, I don't. Attack! They're not sitting on the floor, even though I sabotage them. A bit weird, but okay. Weird flex, but... Um, right, yeah, let's just fight this one. They got some cav, they got some good infantry, but... What they don't have is... Six bull warrior monks. What they do have, on the other hand, is Baba. It's good old Baba. Oh, Baba. Baba Tada. <laughs> Sounds like fucking Sim talk. Baba Tada, Fumi. Suzuki Sadayu. <laughs> I can totally imagine those words being in The Sims. Alright. <laughs> just... <laughs> I just said something really racist, didn't I? Anyway, <laughs> let's move on from that. Uh, our six archers, right, yeah. So, we are attacking them. Uh, this is a lovely hill, but if we're attacking them, it's not gonna matter. I'm still gonna... Actually, no, I don't want to take... I, I, I can't speak anymore. Um, yeah, I wouldn't want to take this hill regardless, because there's too much force for them to have cover in. And the, the one thing we have in our advantage is the ranged, right? So we just want to shoot them. Also, I don't want to have you up front. This isn't... This isn't Free Kingdoms, did I... Just recorded a bunch of episodes off. And the generals are just going to sit at the back. I don't have a stand and fight, so... Not a lot of tactics here. They are content with sitting there. Well, I'm content with you sitting there, so that works out for me. Don't it. I'm really happy, though, with the current situation of Free Kingdoms and, and Shogun 2, because I love both games. And both games are different enough that it gives me variety. Like, the way battles work, the way the campaign map works, like, they're, they're both really good, in my opinion. But, like, unit balance and stuff is completely different in Shogun 2 than it is in, um, in Free Kingdoms. Like, I, I've always loved cavalry, and I always love ranged units. But, in Shogun 2, I, I like them especially much. Um, and then... Like, Rome 2 and Attila, etc. I always felt that arrangements were a bit shit. I always felt like there was... I actually... I remember doing many many of my campaigns, I just didn't recruit any range units because I was fought, just fought... They just weren't worth it, basically. Just get more infantry, because infantry was super good. Um, but in, in Shogun 2, infantry is great, but archers are also great. Like, everything is great. Everything has a role, right? And then in Free Kingdoms, infantry is a bit worse again, but then archers and cavalry are really good. And I really like archers and cavalry. I just like those types of units. So there's, you know, battles work out completely differently in both games. And I really enjoy that. Uh, we need to move up a little bit further. I'm actually kind of tempted just to put the bow warrior monks up front, actually. And I think I will, for now, because we have we have the range. We have the new farms. Um, so yeah, and, and the campaign map is just, you know, it's completely different. Uh, Free Kingdoms and Shogun 2. I probably prefer Free Kingdoms campaign map. And I prefer Shogun 2 battles. But I like 
I like both in the other game as well, but it just gives me a nice balance, right? Anyway, we are now ranging them with a singular unit, but when oh, they're actually coming towards us. Fat! We will eventually take a lot of damage, but let's just kill a bunch of them before they get to us and then they'll be fine. By the time they lose a single volley, they'll have been severely reduced in number. Oh, we're the fucking charging now. Okay, let's get our infantry up front here. And let's get fire arrows going on everyone. Oh, fucking hell, they're almost here already. Stop it! Okay, I made them scare. I, I scared them off. Oh, fucking hell, they're flanking around. Boy, this isn't Free Kingdoms, you can't just do that. Actually, Shogun 2 has got some pretty decent... Um... Oh, well, actually, the archers didn't even fire at these guys, by the way, that's great. That's fucking brilliant. Got Warcry available too. Absolutely bloody fantastic, friends. I actually got good charge bonuses. I really ought to charge. Probably not into an in. Oh, they stopped. So not into a, a, a cavalry unit, but there you go. All right, get the fuck out of here. I. That was no, that wasn't. How did I hit that? That was interesting. Get them out of here, and then fucking whistling arrows to just top it all off. And see you later, entire enemy army. I said, okay, there we go. Somebody's the whistling her over there. You guys get over there. Yeah, that's what I mean. That is actually such a good combo. Fortunately, a couple of our units did take quite a bit of damage, and we still have to see. Ah, well, the other army is just Ashigaru. So as long as there's no other reinforcements, it's actually going to be totally fine. I do want to kill everything off. Did we we sabotage them? I can't quite remember how that works in this game. We sabotage them. Does that mean that they all die anyway? Because they can't move. I feel like it should work like that, but I can't remember if it does. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll find out either way. We can kill off a bunch of stuff, more experience and stuff. Uh, but yeah, we, we did lose quite a few men, but luckily the next army is literally just Ash Ashigaru. So we're going to be totally fine regardless. Regardless, it will be totally fine. Alright, once you've finished off with that unit there, which you almost have, go murder that one for me if you wouldn't mind. If it's not too much trouble, sir, please continue murdering other units. Don't feel sorry for them. They came into our lands and took our wives as their own. I will not accept it. It will be war! Sorry. Let myself go a little bit there. Also, speaking of Sim Talk, <laughs> there's a quote there from Sun Tzu. Isn't that literally something that the Sims say? Sun Tzu! <laughs> something like that, right? Anyway. Um, uh, 62 men remaining. Do they actually... Okay, so yeah, they can still run away. I, th I thought that's how it worked. I just wasn't quite sure... Anyway, time for a siege. So yeah, this army, it's all Ashigaru, so I'm not worried about this specifically, even though we have lost some men. Like, the archers will still be painful, but, I mean, it's a 6v6, and our archers are, like, three times as good as theirs. It's, like, it's, it's difficult to compare them. Like, archer-wise, they're way better, but, like, actually putting these guys up against them is not that favorable, because uh, these guys have got shit armor, and Bo Ashigaru will actually do quite a bit of damage to them, plus they've got less men. But if you compare them, like, in a shooting contest, these guys shooting against, like, you know, just st shooting at stationary targets of Yari Ashigaru, uh, and this one shooting at stationary targets of Yari Ashigaru, then they will get kills way faster. So, it's always a, an, an interesting comparison, that. Armor on archers can be quite good. But, generally, in Shogun 2, archers don't... I'm actually going to put you in the army, extra experience, as well as further movement. Um... Generally in Shogun 2, it, uh, it, you, well, in, 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 in Total War games in general, uh, the enemy AI doesn't tend, I don't, why is that enemy AI? The AI in general doesn't tend to focus on range units so much. Even then, I put my archers up front and I still decided to fire at my, uh, my, my melee. Anyway, I think, uh, we can't really spend that last 864 cuckoo. So I think we'll keep it. We'll keep it. That's horrible. Please stop. Can't afford an archer. 
well, that's 1080p. It's actually 1440p, so um, please get your numbers straight. Damn it, you d that was a level 2 building, wasn't it? Didn't I just upgrade that? No, I didn't. Did I? I was I was upgrading it, and then it got cancelled. No, I was upgrading this. No, you fools! And I don't have iron anymore, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure you were providing it to me. Damn it, that's actually even more... Oh god, that's lost me three and a half grand as well, but mostly it's the fact that I can't upgrade it now, because I haven't got iron. Damn it, I had not considered that. Just out of curiosity, would you take peace now? Not that I would take it, I just want to know. Okay. Because at a certain point, you, you can kind of tell, like, if they want to take peace, then you'll generally know that they're quite weak. Which, you know, means you can either take that peace now and, you know, reconsolidate, or you should push because they're weak. That said, AI doesn't tend to stay weak for very long. Okay, yep, yeah, let's end the turn of ink. Quick check, yep, we're good. I kind of want to stop the tax for a turn or two. My income is actually quite shit right now. It must be said. Um, nah, stick to it. Eh, one turn. One turn of cheeky upkeep. Uh, hello? They didn't even... They didn't actually... Did they not reach him? Or did they just fail both? Because I think the Metsuke reached, but the monk didn't. Because the monk appears to still be standing. Okay, they're just moving through my territory. <laughs> Can you just kill this... Damn it! I uh, lost my trade Miyoshi. Oh god, okay. I was gonna say, oh my god, look at all the mounting unrest, but I was like, oh, no, it's, it's actually okay. Uh, we had discovered a concealed army. I'm guessing it's the Atano one. I didn't actually check, but yeah, that one right there next to my castle. They didn't sally out, which is unfortunate because it means that I might actually start taking attrition, or I, I will, unless they sally out this turn. Uh, okay, so we were actually making this place. Yeah, we're just going to keep doing that for a little bit, I think. Just make this place happier. We can un unexempt that. Unexempt that. Alright, so we got ourselves a little bit of money. A little bit of money in my life. Yeah, I gotta hope they sally out, but two more turns. They t they could do. It wouldn't be... I wouldn't put it past them. These ones will probably wait, which means a full turn of attrition for me. Which is not very nice at all. You sabotage them. Cheeky, easy 15 experience for 50 bucks. Pretty good, that. Uh, that's not bad. That's a nice half and half. I'll take that. I'll take that all the way to the fucking bank. Easy experience for you as well. You must be close to leveling then. Okay, let's recruit. More archers, please. I need archers to send. Oh, I can recruit free here. Fantastic. I need them. To, I need to send them down this way. Uh, and I can also recruit some. I can recruit marathon monks now. I'm missing out on the armor, but yeah, I suppose I would. I, I will only. I will only ever take two of these in, in an army, to be honest, uh, because they're just generally worse than Naganata warrior monks. They are a little bit cheaper, but they are worse. There's 40 less of them, and they have bit worse stats. The reason I want them is because they have the second wind ability. But that's why I only want two. One on each flank, basically, or one on each side of the battlefield. So if my men were to get tired, then second wind it. Fucking get going again. Having said that, I think generally every single battle that we have is going to be... Um, <laughs> it's going to be, like, decided before second wind be even becomes a thing. Is it only, like, three units, by the way? Portion nearby units stamina. I don't know, it just doesn't say. I thought it was up to free, but maybe that's a different one. Um, you need to get rid of this guy first of all. Or that guy. 58? 58. Alright, well, let's go for this guy. Well, see you later, monk. You tried, eh? Well, you try your best, but you don't succeed. You get what you want, but not what you need. Good song. Is it? I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck's sake. I guess... Did we, we... Oh, yeah, okay, so... Recruiting units. Yeah, I, yeah, I will take two army. I will... Yeah, let's recruit one now. It's fine. They're actually more expensive to recruit, but their upkeep is cheaper. What in tarnation? Um... Yes, you. Hey, you. Yes, you. Let's, uh... Build something, maybe? 
Yeah, I don't know, man. There's not much I can build. That's not mine. <laughs> like, hmm. What do I build in this town here? Uh, building this up doesn't do anything for me. I don't get more experience or anything. It's actually not much. Maybe I'll keep the money next time. I can, you know, I can make sure that I can I can keep affording my sabotages, etc. Whenever I need them, and I'll most certainly will need more. I'll tell you what. You want to trade yet? It's true land, man. It's worth it. I'll tell you. Oh, I tell you, it's worth it. All right. Why did we lose trade with Miyoshi, but they can still trade? What what kind of bullshit's going on here, huh? Time and Miyoshi, what's this all about? Uh, Atano, yep, you're you're not declared war on anyone. You hate a bunch of people. You don't hate the Mori that much. In fact, you quite like the Mori. Well, I don't like them. You're just completely indifferent towards them. Although it, it looks like it's slightly pinkish compared to that, which are rebels, by the way. But I guess they don't know that yet, or I don't know that. I don't know. I can see it's rebels, but I can't see on the map who it is. Like, there's no color. Normally, they'd be like what gray or something, or something. All right. And this shit. Alright, please sally out to Keda. In both instances, that'd be great. Hojo. Oh, they're getting rid of my monk, I'm guessing. You fools. Don't you realize that monk is unkillable? He will not falter from his ways. Ah, okay. This is actually the one I... Yeah, this is the one I expected him to sally out on. And also... The tougher one. Hopefully we have a forest. Hopefully we have a forested hill. Best case scenario, forested hill. Forester. Um, so we have four units of Cav. Not really a problem. A couple units of Katana Samurai. Pretty good, but no experience. I think the biggest problem we have is a six bow Samurai. We can't do anything against them. We just have to hide, basically. Hide. Quick! This unit's the scariest in all the I think. I mean... Best unit in the game, except for Oda Long Yada Shigado, of course. But uh, yeah, we have stun and fight, so that helps as well. If we have a forest of hill or just a forest, I'll take as well. Oh god, that's not what I expected. Like even if there was a hill, a forested hill on their side, it would have been better than no forested hill at all, because then I could have done that trick I did ages ago, or lure the enemy away and then walk towards their forested hill. But ugh. This is horrendous. Six fucking bow samurai with experience. I have nowhere to hide. Could try and run in here, but by the time I get there, they'll be able to shoot at me already, so what's the point? This actually, you know what, that might work. This might have enough place to hide in, although there is not actually, like, it's... There's a, there's a gap there where you can't hide. It's not great. I mean, this bit's actually full-on good, so we could use that, perhaps. Um... Like, this sounds good, but the moment they see me with any unit, they'll just start shooting at me, so that doesn't help that much. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to just use this this bit here. Like, this bit, specifically, I think. It's not even that great, to be honest. Well, I guess in that case it works out that all we have is fucking infantry. Um... Because there's not going to be much, you know, we don't, have to, we don't have to have triple lines or anything. We can just plop them in. And the moment the enemy sees me, I'm fucking charging, right? Like this bit, I mean, even if I could get here in time, it's just, it's, it's kind of like that, isn't it? So it'd be very awkward to place in there. This is actually alright, but it's not that great. It's not much better than this, to be honest. And it, I have to get there first. That'd be difficult to do. Other than that, there isn't really much around, to be honest. Like that! That would be fucking great! Can I set up here, please? Holy crap, if I were just slightly further back, I guess. My goodness. Either one of these two hills, absolutely insane. Yes, please, I'll have that. There's the castle. We're attacking... Why are they not coming from there? And I would be set up here then, I guess. Wait, but hold on. I'm attacking there, so that, yeah, this, the water's to the south. Yeah, there should, it should be there. To, yeah, I guess it's fine. I don't know. This is weird. Uh, anyway, yep, we're um, placing the army in here somewhere. I mean, it's gonna be very much like that, to be honest. I'm not even sure if we're gonna be fully hidden there. I'm gonna have to somehow hide the cav as well. And of course, the problem being, actually, the calf can just hide up in here. That's no problem. Um, the generals, though, 
the problem is that I can't hide them. So if I put them back here, it's that thing, right? Where normally you can lure the enemy towards you because they can't see you, right? Ugh, there's no hiding there either, by the way, so I don't think anyone's going to be hidden here. Well, these units will be, but... Um, but yeah, normally you'd lure them towards you, and then by the time they're here, or here or something, they'll see my units, and then they'll be like, oh, there's an actual army there. Um, and the archers would be the same. They would keep walking until they see your troops. But in this case, because... <laughs> <laughs> my my generals are like inside my own damn units because there's no space. Um, we basically ha they're going to be shooting at me from much further away, so it's I don't know. It's going to be kind of awkward. Either way, we're just going to have to see and. We'll wait and see if we can actually set up in the, in the forest here, to be honest, first of all, and then we'll, uh, we'll kind of go from there. Are they even coming towards me? Yeah, they are. Okay, makes sense. I wonder if I could have gotten there, but again, it would have been a really awkward kind of setup, so... What we can do is wait until they're around here and then move my generals over here. Alright, so who's hidden? Okay, these ones are actually hidden too. It's just these two on the end that aren't. So I guess I could put them in this bit here. We don't need all of our units together. Having a bit of a flank on is not even that bad of an idea. So I plop them in there with the cav. I might be able to get this a little bit wider. Nah, not really. I kind of want to make this a double line, maybe. It's so like four and four. It's just awkward in general, isn't it? I wanted a forest. <laughs> But not specifically this one. I think that's probably better. So I'm a little bit more spread out immediately. And then yeah, we'll put the generals like towards this way once they get closer. Because then the for the this little actually they can move through there, never mind. I was gonna say this will actually make it so that they have to go around this way and then they'll see my units and then it's okay. Alright, are you guys hidden? Uh one of them is, the other one isn't. Nope, they are, okay. And everyone here is hidden too. Alright, perfect. That's triple speed. Well, not perfect. This is pretty shit, in all honesty. Also, the fact that they're approaching like that means that these guys might actually be completely caught out there. I really want to get another unit over there, to be honest. Can I? Can I, father? You have to go, you have to run, though. Yeah, they would definitely be hidden there. Yeah, Three units would make me feel a little bit safer about that. And the cav, I can't really use either until their cav is dead. I mean, they would probably win against the Katana's uh, cavalry, but... In a 1v1, ev at least, uh, it's not really a fight I'd want to take on, though, because the rest of my army is all anti-cav. Um, and then, even then, it's not really going to be a 1v1, is it? There's so many units there. Okay, you are almost there, so I can start walking you and make sure you're hidden, because they're all coming towards that unit now. So start walking now. Start walking, you son of a bitch. At least my ability is ready. Okay, they're hidden, so they should all start going towards the generals again, which I'm not going to move this way because they're getting a bit close for comfort on that end. If they see any of these units already, they don't really appear to be going after my generals, though. But if they spot any of these, then these guys are all completely out of formation, out of, out of position, aren't they? So really, I need them to come after my generals now. Not quite sure why they're moving up like that. Please. Attack my generals. Hello? They just don't seem interested. Look at them, they're going straight for my units. It's like they know they're there. But they don't, they're all hidden. What kind of nonsense is this? Well, I may uh, I may have to run through... They're going straight for my army! They can't see anything there. Well, there you go. Alright. Let's fucking go then. Okay, well, at least they're... They're going towards those units. That could actually work out all right. I am still in the forest. I'm not going to take a huge amount of damage. But I am, yeah, I'm going to start running that way. Fuck it. I don't really want to necessarily charge them. If they're charging me, I'm okay with that happening as well. Okay, let's get my generals behind the lines. Make sure these guys don't actually get to me. That would suck. Yeah, I'm going be able to get there in time, no problem. I don't want to get pulled up by too many cav units here, though. Okay, time to get in there now. Once we start actually fighting properly here. We've got too many units stuck on this shit though. I need to get over there. Fucking charge through. General need to get over here. I need to put into into formation. If I can get if the cav are all stuck in melee. Let's 
get some debuffs going. Okay, you need to go into stand and fight right there. That's fine. You need to get into all those archers there. Okay, well we got some debuffing going on. You need to get in there somewhere. The line is clashing. We've lost quite a few of our archers, or our cavalry already, I just realized. I don't know how we lost that many. Probably getting shot the whole time. Okay, we've broken through that unit, so now we can get all these guys in here. We're being shot, but could be worse. This unit's actually somehow not debuffed. Yeah, let's get a debuff on them. Maybe I can make them route. Okay, you are doing alright, but maybe let's get some help in there. Let's start routing all these units around here, too. Uh, there's a general. Oh, it's Katana Kava. Actually, never mind. Okay, you've broken through there. Let's get one of you in the back of all this shit here. One of you through there. One of you that way. Okay. I killed a general. I mean, it's only 32 men remaining now, but I guess I should try. Eh, nah, he's gonna die to something else. Let's send you over there. Let's not use you anymore. You're gonna hide in the forest somewhere. Um, let's get you in there. Fuck it. Get some morale buffing going on. Alright, who hasn't used the debuff yet? You. Fucking debuff everything now. I think I've actually routed all that shit around there. There you go, that's broken a bunch more units. Okay, I think we're getting, uh... We are actually gonna use My you, because we need to chase stuff down, of course. Will soon be yours. You can get back on your high horse. Alright. That was a pretty solid victory. It is, a, however, a sally, so I need to make sure I kill as much as humanly possible here. To, so I don't have to do it again. That was a good victory, I'm happy with that. That went... Very well. Generals are gonna get away, but... It's just, yeah, that's not really a problem. Hide away, though. Let's try and kill shit. I think we have killed most of them, because, I mean, it was more of a mass route. All of a sudden, everything routed, and we had so many units around here that we slaughtered everything instantly. There's probably only a couple hundred men remaining, if that. And we, are, we still have all of our cav r r r around as well. Rrr, rrr, rrr. This unit, yeah, I, I think they took a lot of damage from getting shot at. I must have not realized they were getting shot already. Perhaps when my units around here were discovered, they were actually the prime target. I saw some arrows going into the first unit, but maybe after that they were shooting at the cav. I lost a whole bunch over here. I did move them around there, so that probably was it, actually. I moved them there to start charging into the archer unit that was here. Um, and I must have waited a little bit too long. I mean, if that was my only mistake in this battle, I'm totally okay with that. But, uh, yeah, that, that was painful, I will say. I'll say that. I think this is the actual only last unit, or the actual only last, the only actual unit that we, or the last unit that we have to kill still, and the rest appears to be mostly dead. Except for the, uh, generals, of course, who managed to get away. But I think, other than that, we're pretty good off here, so it's close victory. I'd have given myself a heroic victory there, but alright. Fair enough, I suppose. It's not really fair enough. Should have been a heroic victory. I wholeheartedly disagree, sir. Now we gotta hope the other army sallies out as well, but that one's less scary, so if we take a point of attrition there, then I'm okay with that. 63 men remaining, so we definitely take it next turn, yeah, just a general. Other army didn't sally out, so we did take the attrition there, but not too concerned about that. Oh, they've broken the alliance already. God damn it. <laughs> Stop. Oh, there you go, they got themselves killed. That army, okay, never mind. I thought it become, became really large, then, but that was just the garrison. The threat of attack from the Atano, yep, alright, so that's gonna happen soon. I'm gonna just lose a couple towns here, I think. There's not much I can do about it, I'm afraid. Um, we're just gonna have to deal with this, and then send the army back. Maybe hope I can peace out the Takeda or something. Honestly, not quite sure. Oh yeah, we took the attrition here as well, of course, that's unfortunate. We got heroic. Plus some morale. This guy, the god of battles. We must have an insane amount of morale we get. It's a bonus here. This guy's got 24. They're warrior monks already, so it's not like they start off with shit morale or anything. Um, do we do this again? 29% chance now. That's my good one as well. Okay, that's gotta be a... It looks like it's the same, though. And they've got an extra unit as well, so they're not, they're not gonna be able to do it now either. Man, are we never gonna be able to do this? This is a tiny gar or tiny army. It's just the garrison's so large. 40%. Do we do it here again? That's the first time you failed on a... 50% plus chance of success, you fool. 
there you go. Unfortunately, that one usually spawns over here or something, so... I have to wait a while before that happens. Alright, I'll have this town if you don't mind. Okay. Um, Takeda, just out of curiosity, would you take peace now? No. Perhaps after I kill their next army. Atano, what's up with this man? What are you doing? Are we still friendly? Indifferent. Man, that went down fast. Holy shit. Why? Alliance broken, dishonorate treaties. That's you though, that's not me. I didn't do that. Threats of attack, minus 14. Wow, okay. So, an, a random event popped up <laughs> and gave him minus 15 happiness towards each other. Alright, well, the thing is, again, we can deal with this. If we... We don't, need, don't even necessarily have to peace out with them. As long as this army can keep going on the offensive. We're getting more units as well. In fact, this one can make its way over right away. Um, oh, but I was going to end the episode, so I'll, I'll have to do that again next time. But, actually, I can just save it by doing this. Um... Can we carry him inside, by the way? No, he's too far away. He's too far away. Let's, um, let's repair that then. Get everyone back inside. He can stay there by himself and think about what he's done. Um, yeah, and I can't afford anything, unfortunately, except for a fucking cavalry thing, which is a bit pointless. This is going to rebel, so I have to exempt this from tax again. Did it go back to normal tax, right? Yeah, I did. Otherwise, it would have everyone would have rebelled already. That's that's a, a quick way to destroy your entire fucking campaign by <laughs> leaving your taxes on very high for two turns in a row. Boom! Half your towns have just rebelled. What next? Um, let's try this again because these people are really trying to get rid of my dude, and they've succeeded. Not yet, but they will definitely do so soon. I'm sure. Please get rid of this. Oh, come on! What is up on my? 58% twice in a row. Over here, this guy has filled like three 70% chances in a row. I mean, I don't know what the fuck's going on with him. It's ridiculous. But anyway. Um, I'm gonna get some more cheap experience here, actually. Oh, I can't reach. Are you serious? That dude is fucked. Alright, he's now a couple experience away from leveling. Yeah, it's good cheap experience there. I love it when there's just a random unit around. You can just fuck it up. Um, okay, so I will do that attack one more time, and I will leave the episode there. But yeah, the plan would be to finish this off. They will sally out in a couple, well, hopefully next turn or the turn after that, but they'll sally out soon. The Hatana will take Tango, they'll take Wakasa. Not my richest town, so not the biggest problem in the world. Uh, oof, the problem is, yeah, they could start going this way and run rampant. There's not much I can do about that, I'm afraid. Eh, well, let's hope they go this way. We've seen most of the units around here, so, you know... That would be better. Um, either way, though. We'll have bring this army back, try and deal with it, and then you know, this one keeps attacking Takeda just so we do something with our army. Still going to be tough. We're uh, definitely getting to a point in the campaign again where things are heating up a little bit again. We had a, a moment of rest, but we weren't able to capitalize on that enough. I perhaps should have recruited more units, but looking at my income, you know, an extra five units, I would have been down to less than a thousand income, so... Overall, I think we're actually at a pretty good number. I'm still recruiting units now as well. This army is going to become really, you know, full stack soon. Just needs to get uh, the range units, and this one just needs more infantry. Anyway, next time. Until then, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day, and goodbye.